today's word everyone wants. Matter of fact, you and I will pay a premium for it. It explains why we drive the cars we drive, the houses we live in, what we eat, what we do, who we subscribe to politically, theologically. And it all has to do with peace. The world is groaning. You and I are begging for peace. You know, in my theological persuasions, we were taught as an early child, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. But the fact of the matter is, it's not just a theological idea. It's not just a political idea. You know, candidates run all the time on, we'll do this or we'll implement this foreign policy or we'll do this for the hopes of peace. But the fact of the matter is, peace transcends our entire life. Every day at work, every day at school, every day at home, you're looking for, you're striving for, you're thirsting for peace. Now let me tell you one of the little ironies about this word. To get peace, there has to be a fight. Peace just doesn't come to you. People aren't, there's no vending machine out there that you can go to right now and just say, hey, I want peace, and you pull on it and it just gives you a peace bar. If you want peace, you have to fight for it. If you want peace, you have to go and grab it, take it, and not let anyone grab it from you or steal it from you. There's three areas I would tell you to work on, think about, and be diligent about this week. First, biologically. Are you at peace with your body, with, with your health? If not, get there. I decided the first this year, hey, I want to do something. And so I went on this, you know, uh, ketosis or kinetic or whatever it's called type of uh, cryo, not cryogenics, that's where they freeze you. But, you know, you get the point. It's a low carb, better way of eating, a uh, healthier diet. And so far, I've lost about 15 pounds and feel a lot better. But the reason was is because I wasn't at peace with my body. And I was trying to substitute the peace I wasn't feeling by all kinds of other things. So biologically, make sure you're at peace. Psychologically, make sure you're at peace. You know you are the sum total of the five people you hang around the most. Always put inside of your mind, your heart, put in good thoughts. Surround yourself with good ideas, good, good uh, thinking. Because Zig Ziglar, a, uh, a personal hero of mine, says stinking thinking will just take you to bad places. So always be consuming better information, positive information, things that are uplifting. And finally, theologically, what do you believe about the God of this universe? Are you a wandering generality or a meaningful specific? I would tell you that you're a meaningful specific, that you're not the results of just lightning hitting a mud puddle and you crawling out billions of years later. But before the foundation of the world, you were thought about, planned for, made from, for, and the purposes of greatness and when you can come to peace with that well you'll come to peace because psychologically theologically and biologically if you don't have peace well you're just not happy and the way you get happy is to get peace peace